Assalamu alaikum. Welcome back to your one student and this is chemistry class. Let's start with chapter one, lesson one, which is the heat content. What about the definition of the thermochemistry? Thermochemistry is one of the branches of thermodynamics which studies the thermal change which is associated with the chemical and physical transformation. The transformation of energy is controlled with a rule or a law which is called the law of conservation of energy. Law of conservation of energy states that energy neither can be neither created nor destroyed but can it change from one form to another. Chemical reactions are associated with the change in energy they may absorb or give of energy. Energy exchange between medium of the reaction called the system and the surrounding of a medium called surrounding or a part of the universe in which the chemical or physical change occur. So the system can be defined as a certain part of a matter which is studied. The surrounding is the region surrounding the system which exchanges the energy with it. System and surrounding of the chemical reaction. We have three types of system. The first one is an isolated system in which it doesn't allow the exchange of a matter or energy, like for example water in an isolated container. Number two, closed system. It allows the exchange of energy only between the system and the surrounding, like for example the medical thermometer. Open system. It allows the exchange of both energy and matter between a system and surrounding, like for example water on an open sea. Okay. <coughs> what about the first law of thermodynamics? First law of thermodynamics states that the total energy of an isolated system remains constant, even if in the form of a system changes. For example, if we get the total energy of universe equal the energy of a system and the energy of a surrounding therefore any exchange uh, sorry any change occurred to the energy of a system is associated with the equivalent change in that of a surrounding but with different sign to keep the total energy constant that means that the total or the change in energy for the system equal negative the change of a system of the change of energy in a surrounding don't forget the negative sign here means they are the both the change in energy for the system and the surrounding are equal but the difference in the both according to the sign and this sign is the direction of the heat okay now let's talk about the difference between the temperature and heat temperature is the measurement of an average kinetic energy of the molecules of a substance which determine if it's hot or cold while heat is a form of energy which it transfers from higher temperature object to the lower temperature object so the question now what are the measuring unit of both temperature and heat temperature can be measured by degree Celsius or Kelvin while heat heat as it's a kind of energy so it can be measured by joule or calorie joule is an amount of heat required the temperature of one gram of water one over 4.184 degrees Celsius while calorie is the amount of heat required to raise the temperature of one gram of water one degree Celsius from huh, 15 to 16 degrees Celsius excellent Okay, let's talk about the another title, which is the specific heat. A specific heat is the amount of heat, is the amount of heat required to raise the temperature of one gram of a matter one degree Celsius, and its measuring unit is joule per gram Celsius or joule per kilogram Celsius. A specific heat depends on a kind of a substance. Add the specific heat is high substance which requires a great amount to, uh, of heat to raise their temperatures and they take much time to lose the heat gained the opposite substances of low specific heat 
don't forget and water has the greatest specific heat on the earth's surface but notice liquid pure water has the greatest specific heat on the earth's surface for example we have here an example for and metals and non-metals and compounds with their specific heats aluminium for example its specific heat is 0.9 carbon is 0.711 carbon is 0.385 Iron is 0.444, liquid water is, uh, is 4.184, water vapor is 2.1, 2.01. That means that the specific heat is differ according, uh, specific heat differs according to the physical state of a matter. As you know, as you see here, liquid water has a specific heat 4.18, water vapor has a specific heat. 2.01 but the question now how can we calculate the amount of heat needed or released this is can be calculated from a rule which is qp equal mc delta t qp is the amount of heat absorbed or released at a certain temperature m is the mass c is the specific heat delta t is the change in temperature which means t2 minus t1 final temperature minus initial temperature okay after that we're gonna talk about the how can we calculate this amount of heat this is can be done by using a tool which is called calorimeter calorimeter is a device which is used to determine the amount of heat by knowing the change in temperature and by applying the rule we said from a while which is qp equal mc delta t we can calculate the quantity of heat absorbed or released according to what we said we have two types of calorimeters <coughs> the first one is calorimeter which is used to determine the change in temperature and by applying the rule as we said from a while we can get the quantity of heat and the second is called the combustion calorimeter or combustion calorimeter or bump calorimeter bump calorimeter or combustion calorimeter is used to measure the <coughs> amount of heat resulted on burning a certain substances as you see in the following table or the following figure I'm sorry for example the function is the measured uh, the heat of combustion of some substances and its idea of operation we burn a certain amount of a substance by using an electro wire in a oxygen gas at constant atomic pressure in a vessel called decomposition vessel or ignition container which is surrounded by water as you see in this figure we have a motorized steerer ignition room two ignition wire and thermometer this is lesson one and see you in lesson two